Let us not dawdle, for there are grudges to settle, and new entries in the Damas Kron to write! Howdy howdy, Sudovel here, and welcome to another game featuring Yumei's playing as the dwarfs facing the Skaven, and in this game he is going to be playing as Belagar Ironhammer as his lord, and he's actually facing the same Skaven player that I faced, uh, uh, earlier in my my last game, and he has a kind of a, a bit of a different army, but some similar elements to it. So it's going to be really fun to see how this game plays out. Uh, for his front line, he has five dwarf warriors, just a robust front line in that matchup. He does have five slayers, so four four regular slayers and one group of the dragonback slayers. He has three miners with blasting charge, one here, two vanguard deployed way up there for some vanguard shenanigans which is always fun. He has Belgar Ironhammer who's naked, and he does have three gyrocopters with brimstone guns and one regular gyrocopter. And his Skaven opponent has three death runners. I think he had three or four against me. Uh, same sort of list and similar ideas. They're on the outside edges, and he sort of, he has two pockets like that. In this pocket where he has his leadership, he does have that Gracier of Plague on a Doombell again with the Arcane Conduit for the magic, Warp Storm Scroll for the damage to Gyrocopters, uh, Vermintide for the summons, the 13th Spell for the summons, the Unholy Clamor for map-wide 16 Leadership and Vigor when he uh, hits that. He has Scorch, which is a Breast Spell, and Wall of Unholy Sound, so all the way around him has plus 5 melee attack, plus 4 Leadership, and all the rest of the Skaven goodness. He does have a Doom Will, which causes fear and terror, in this line, he does have six Skaven Slave Singers, three on each side. He has two Plague Claw Catapults, one on each side. And he does have one group of Storm Vermin with Sword and Shield, and one group of the Rat Ogres. And that's a little bit of a change from when he played me. We had two groups of Rat Ogres, and on this side, he does have some Gutter Runners, along with some Clan Rats. This side, he does have some Skaven Slaves. So, a, an interesting list. So, we will get this going. So, obviously... Um, Yumei just wants to f come on up here and take a look and and I think Yumei had played a game where he was opposite here and had an interesting game he was going to play with trying to flank like this and it's interesting his opponent is trying the same sort of idea like this is just to put up a sort of a flanking attack there and sort of make sure the rat ogres are out of the way and he wants to play ca catapults to fire. You see Yumei is just bringing his army up here Thinking about where he's going to go, he does have these miners with blasting charges hidden. He is looking for some vanguard shenanigans. So he's going to pull them out of the woods and they will be seen. He still doesn't see the gutter runners. Now these gyrocopters are getting uh, shot at a little bit with the, looks like the plague clock catapult. I'm sure he's going to change his target and the gyrocopters can then start to go to work. Over on this side, you can see the gyrocopters really just want to come in and shoot at the plague clock catapult. Over on this side, again, Plague Clock Catapult, just want to sort that out, really wants to go after the artillery, and as the rest of his army comes up, so he can minimize the casualties as his army comes up, and, and really, the Gyrocopters do not take a whole lot of damage from Skaven Slaves, or even the, uh, uh, where are they, the Gutter Runners. The Gutter Runners, we'll see how much AP they have. Three AP, and the Skaven Slaves have, what do they got? one AP so really they can just sit there for quite some time now he has seen these uh, death runners so he's going to take his regular gyrocopter with the brims not not the brimstone gun to try and get after these guys because really he can do a ton of damage he's 75 models he's gonna try and run away 74 models trying to get the blasting charges off these death runners this is exactly what you want to do to get the death runners these are the kind of weapons that really are gonna hurt the death runners he's trying to sort of to go around and around and try and get out of the way and not take damage, but those Death Runners are going to be in a lot of trouble. He's coming in here with his Doom Wheel to try and really take out the Miners with Blasting Charges, and he is in here with Skaven Slaves and Storm Vermin with Sword and Shield, and he's got it up against the Slayers, which is a good sort of target. He is getting a bit beat down, but those gyro the Gyro Copters getting a bit beat, beat, beat down, but he is really doing very well against the Play Clock Catapults. He's got one of them down, and the other, the other one's in a bit of trouble. And over on this side, this Plague Caught Catapult has only got one left. And you can see he's still firing on. Now he's got all three gone. And he can change his sort of battle. So he does have his Slayers up here. He's got his Slayers up here fighting against Skaven Slaves. And really, they're going to do not too bad. You're going to see like these Slayers are... They've lost one model, uh, one model, and they're beating them up. But they just it takes a while to get it done. That's always the problem. He's got his main Dragonback Slayers in the front here uh, going up against Clan Rats. Now he's changed his focus. 
He's going to go after this uh, Doom Bell with the Grace here, and uh, really, that's that's the the only thing he really needs to focus on right here and get that Doom Bell going. He got the Dreaded Thirteen spell going off, and I think we got what Stormburn with Halberds going after these Dwarf Warriors. It's going to be a bit of a struggle for them. Finally, the Dwarf Warriors are up, and finally, Belagar is coming. He is going straight for this Doom Bell. So we got Dwarf Warriors are going to try and hold up that Doom Bell. And now the uh, gyrocopters are just going to start going to work. And this has uh, 100 armor, but the gyrocopters are, are going to be able to get through that armor. Now this animation, you can see the animation itself, that crazy animation dodged some of the fights. But Belagar, we're going to take a look here. Beautiful. Comes in, flying chop. I don't know if he did any damage. I didn't watch the damage, but he's going to start taking some damage on that side. We still have some Skaven units out here that need to get back into the fight. We do have Miners with Blasting Charges. Really, he's just going to put them up here, and if they get back in the fight, he will screen them out. The Slayers are really holding the line there. There's not a whole lot of big stuff to go after, but the Dragonback Slayers are in here really slowing down this Grace here. So this Grace here is now at uh, 29 speed, so it can't really get away unless it pulls through some of his own troops, which is exactly what he's going to do. And on this side of the battle, the dwarfs are doing much, much better. They're sort of wrapping things up. The Skaven Slay Slingers, Storm Vermin with Shields are, are up against the Slayers. These Plague Clock Catapults are not long for this world, and this Dwarf Warriors are really just pushing these guys off. Really, we've had some Skaven Slay Slingers have obviously come back, and now they're going to sort of they've routed and they've come back. We've got some blasting charges left. We're going to go after the Skaven's legs and the Plague Claw Catapult. So this side is pretty much wrapped up. Here is where the action is. And now everything's sort of come and got and engaged. We've got some uh, Rat Ogres coming up here against the Miners. And we do have this, this uh, Grey Seer in here trying to get away from Belgar. So that's exactly what he's doing. He's just pulling right through his army. And then he can't be followed. So now he can go and fight in here against the Miners. And even the Slayers are not too terrible because he doesn't have, though they don't have a lot of armor piercing. Up in the middle here, it is a kind of a mess. We got Rat Ogres, we got uh, these Gutter Runners, we got a lot of Slayers, really. And this is the kind of, it was a really messy fight in my fight too. Like it was just all, units all over the darn place. This side has actually come pretty good. And you can see, you may as just bring his troops back here. We do have some Storm of Sword and Shields, but you can see really we've got Skaven Slaves. Play caught catapults, Skaven Slave Slingers, and really, so this army can come up and really help up in here. We've got these Dragonback Slayers chasing off the Death Runners, and now the uh, Gyrocopters are almost all out of ammo. Really, they've been shooting this uh, Grace here. Again, he's just, they're trying to, to knock him out and slow him down. He's down to 1,000 health, down to 900 health, and here he go, coming in with the Gyrocopters to slow that, that machine down. Still got this weird, wonky animation. And over on this side, uh, Belagar is doing his best to get into that fight. He wants to get into the fight with the Grey Seer, um, the Plague, and you can see you've got some Dwarf Warriors, we've got the Gyrocopter, we've got Slayers, we've got everything around this thing. It's only got 600 health, and Belagar trying to get in there, but he's been stopped by the Doom Wheel and the Death Runner. And this th Grey Seer is trying to cast his spells off. He's, he's trying to get his summons here to stop everything from following him so he can sort of get out of dodge. And leave something behind him so he's got clan rats here that are going to stop everything from chasing him and really he can't stop the gyrocopters but the gyrocopters have no ammo so they're just going to come in and try and get some rear charges they don't have the best charge animation or charge uh they, they only have like a charge bonus of 25 so he's trying to get in there and really you can see the skaven player is really trying to make sure everything gets off he's got the doom full health doom wheel here really pushing off and he's terror terror routed the gyrocopters and now he sort of got his his uh, Grace here out of that really, really bad spot it was in. And he's got some more troops in here. On this side, really, you can see this is the thing about Skaven. They kind of route and they come back and they route and they come back and they route and they come back. And, uh, you know, what you were fighting is no longer there. He is, but Umaze is staying focused. He wants to get after this Grace here. He's got his units, the Miners with Blasting Charges in, the Miners with Blasting Charge, and Belagar Iron Hammer coming in you can see he is wavering he's at minus two really struggling and now he is routed and this is exactly where the gyrocopters come in so beautiful because they can really no matter how fast this thing is a 50 speed a gyrocopter is going to be able to escort that gray seer off the field you know the doom wheel can potentially stop them can't stop all all the units of the gyrocopters from pushing that thing off the field and really it's just routing this way and you can see the leadership for the Grace here right now is 13, but he's still routing because he's got a gyrocopter right on his butt. We also have the Doom Wheel on the gyrocopter's butt, unfortunately, 
Doesn't look like anyone's actually hurting anybody. <laughs> uh, but you can see he's just going to take the Dryocopter, fly out, and then he'll come back and charge again. Over here, we've got Dwarf Warriors fighting Stormbringer with shields. Not the best matchup for them. We do have Death Runners in here with Dwarf Warriors. So this, this even though they got a lot less units, is actually looks like it's going to be better for the Skaven. Over here, you can see they almost routed the Gyrocopter. But he's gotten away, and he's just going to keep on pushing that Gracier. Really, he wants to make sure, absolutely sure, the Gracier is off the battlefield. Over here, really, this uh, freaking... Um, uh, some of the abilities are obviously going off and affecting all of the Dawi. We've got some Dwarf Warriors here trying to hold against the Death Runners and some Gutter Runners. And uh, Belagar Iron Hammers coming in just to try and rear charge and get some troops mustered up and to come in we do have the dragonback slayers coming up from routing some you see a lot of things that are routed over here way over here still still just chasing that grace here off you just fire and forget make sure that grace here gets off the darn field but now this full health doom wheel is coming back and that's going to be able to tear out everything there is nothing that's immune to psychology with the exception of belagar iron hammer everything else uh, well and the slayers but you can see just dwarf warriors here they have managed to get rid of the death the the, uh, the uh, death runners, but you still have the storm vermin in here, and now this doom wheel is going to come and be absolutely devastating to this little pocket. He's going to try and chase the death runners off with the miners with blasting charges, and you can see he's just finally, finally getting rid of that guy. So away he goes off the battlefield. So great use of the gyrocopter there, and that really pays for itself. Getting that grace here off, no more summons, no more spells, but now the doom wheel is going to work. And you can see Storm Vermeer holding with his Doom Wheel is really starting to get some kills. Looks like we got here, everything is almost routed. Everything is almost routed for the Skaven, but this Doom Wheel has got a ton of health and it's, and it's winning. So he's just trying to bring everything into the Doom Wheel. Wants to escort some of these guys off the field and make sure they don't come back. He's got his Dragonback Slayers over here, probably escorting these Death Runners off the field. Making sure they go. And as uh, you can see already, again, you see the Skaven Slave Slingers, he's changed the Miners and Blasting Charges to go and escort them off the field. Really, it is just this Doom Wheel and the Storm Vermin. So in comes Belagar. We've got the Gyrocopter in. The Gyrocopter, again, is going to help get everything off the field as well. This is the last little ball of resistance, and it's really just the Doom Wheel. This uh, Storm Vermin with Sword and Shield has been routed, and you can see Umaze is going to be able to escort them off the field as well these death runners have come back and unfortunately they're right in the middle and they just can't be seen they're hidden because they have that stock um, so really um, warriors are fleeing again getting routed they're really close like this doom wheel is hard to actually get rid of it has a hundred armor and there's nothing left with a whole lot of armor piercing you know we do have our slayer sort of way in the back on an escort mission it just got Belagar here is gonna chase this thing down and some other units. We've got these Death Runners. Look how close they are before they're spotted. This is absolutely crazy. But it has routed, so it's going to route off. And really, Belagar wants a piece of that, but he kind of realizes, okay, time to consolidate. I've got root units here, units here, units here, units here. Let's get everything together in one pile and do what we need to do. And you can see there's nothing we're going to be able to do against this Doom Wheel. You know, we're just some miners with miners with blasting charges. They might be able to get a shot in. 24-22 is the health. Uh, they're just going to have to take that charge. 24-22. Come on, boys. Get a shot in. Get a shot in. That fear and terror is really, really hard. Yeah, they've been terror routed, unfortunately. You can see that skull and crossbones. They're not even going to get a shot in, unfortunately. And, but we do have these Stormburner of Sword and Shields sort of fighting over here with this miners with blasting charges. Really, really close, but the Stormburner really struggle. We do have some Dwarf units out here that could potentially rally. And our pocket right here with really these Death Runners we got to look at. And he just really wants to slow them down. Looks like he wants to get in a rear charge, but be very, very careful. He's not really beat up by that Doom Wheel. Get in here with the rest of his units. Does have a bit of a Dowie pocket here. And he has Belagar Iron Hammer. So the Death Runners are, are, haven't been routed. So he's going to go in. And a charge that Doom Wheel. It's now 2376. He does want to get those Dragonback Slayers to slow it down. That's really, really key. So you can see this is sort of a, a feint and come back. A feint and then come back. And really, he, the Skaven player is looking for some kind of good engagement. Because he does have these Storm Vermin here. He does have these Death Runners. And really, he can kite the Dowie, unfortunately. Because the Dowie are not going to be able to catch and stop too much of anything. Except with the uh, Gyrocopter. So he's got to be careful. 
that he doesn't get down, get sort of into that fight. But he does do a beautiful rear charge here. The Death Runners do want to rout, but really you can see they're being pulled away. He just wants to, oh, he has killed a gyrocopter too. Freaking Doom Wheel. He's really just trying to, to make sure he catches something. Now in comes the, the Doom Wheel. It's at uh, 47 speed, it has been slowed down. So now at least it can be, it can be, uh, uh, get some damage done it. And he has been able to trap those Death Runners with the gyrocopter. So here we go. The Storm Vermin are almost in. The Doom Wheels here. The uh, Death Runners are wavering. There's a lot of pressure. He does a rear charge with the gyrocopter with Brimstone Gun. I don't know how these guys are not routing yet. And there they go. They route and they shatter. And in come the Storm Vermin. They are wavering as they come into this big ball. Wavering. They're really trying to get in here, get to the fight. We do have Dwarf Warriors, Dragonback Slayers, Belgar Iron Hammer, the Gyrocopter, and we have Miners all in here able to fight the Storm Vermin. The Storm Vermin have much, much higher leadership. And these Dwarf Warriors have been terror routed. Really, it's just and this Gyrocopter with Brimstone Guns has been terror routed as well. It's just Belgar Iron Hammer, the Dragonback Slayer, and some Miners in here. And we do have the Storm Vermin. You can see now the Dwarf Warriors have come back. The gyrocopters have come back. They're going to try and focus down. And you can see the Storm Vermin have now shattered. It is just the Doom Wheel. Just the Doom Wheel. You can see the Doom Wheel is now 72 speed. If the Dragon Back Slayers can hit it, it's going to go down in speed. And now he's rear charging in with these gyrocopters with the Brimstone Guns. Really just trying to get after this Doom Wheel. Really slowly focus it down. Like we do have everything here is shattered. Shattered. And we do have some Dwarf units sort of way out here that may uh, may rally and he just wants to chase these guys down so the, the gyrocopters can really really slow this thing down they do a great job and he gets in here with Belgar he gets another shot but this doom wheel is an anti-infantry really so it has a big advantage here so really you can see you may is coming around he wants to get in a rear charge he wants to continually rear charge this uh, this doom wheel the doom wheel is coming back in then, then out and then in and you can see he's gotten a shot by Belgar iron hammer and again we have two more terror routes really well we have one terror out and one regular out these dwarf warriors are in really trouble so he's trying to send the doom wheel after these dwarf warriors because he wants to get rid of them he wants to really shatter them or kill them all you can see the gyrocopter with the brimstone guns trying to come back get in there for a charge still has 1732 health we do have our gyro back slayers on there and you can see we've now sped slowed it down to 47 speed so it's still faster than every walking divorce <laughs> dwarf but it's not faster than anything else that, that is out there uh, it's not faster than the gyrocopters rather, but really you can see beautiful play here from the Skaven player. Really just trying to get rid of the Miners with Blasting Charge, get rid of the Dwarf Warriors so they can't rally. He's not going to get rid of the Dragonback Slayers without killing him. We only have one Dragonback Slayer there trying to slow him down. We've got the Gyrocopter with Brimstone Gun is now terror routed, but this thing is in the trees. It doesn't handle so well in the trees, and, but it is sort of just, it's really hard to, to get moving, so it's sort of pull away and it's trying to get out of the trees. You can see now we have these guys are routing. Hopefully they can come back. He's really trying to cycle charge here into Belagar and into the Slayers. You can see really, I don't know if I can zoom in. You can see we have one Dragonback Slayer there. And that Dragonback Slayer has just gotten run over. And really you can see this this uh, this uh, Doom Wheel coming out and just going to come back in. Going to try that charge. We're going to take another close up. Boom. Knocked over our Slayer. Knocked over Belagar. Unfortunately... But Belgar has gotten a shot, and he's out 1,360 health left. And I don't know why these guys are not rallying. Maybe it's because they just have too little health, because they're they're running, but they're not rallying. You can see. So really, if just fighting in the woods. No, this is good for the Dowie. The Dowie do want to fight this thing in the wood, because they can't run around as easily. And uh, get their shots in there. And especially if the Dragonback Slayers can slow this thing down. Every time he, he hits that thing, he's going to slow it down a little bit. And... Um, you know, it's going to be really hard for that thing to, to actually do some damage in the woods. So again, he's going to take it out. He's going to come back in for a charge here. This is this is really, like, the way this game has gone, like, it's so close. I don't even know how this Doom Wheel has not shattered. Like, it's the last thing left. There is no other Skaven on the entire field, and he's just going to come in and charge again. And you can see Umaze is ready for the charge. He's going to get in there, try and get his Slayers in, and his Slayer gets run over again and dies and that is really that's oh man <laughs> so now it is Belagar Iron Hammer and the Doom Wheel and that is it and Belagar Iron Hammer does have charge defense against all and the Doom Wheel uh, you know can come in and try and try and hit him and really this is just a who's gonna hit who first 
Belgar Ironhammer feels like he's winning this. Doom Wheel's down to 1100 health. And these guys are not rallying. I don't know why. They're still running. They just won't rally. Back in for another charge against Belagar. I wish I could get a better angle on this. Maybe we'll go over here and we'll try and see. We'll try and get an angle. But he's fighting the woods. Like, uh, Umaze wants to stay in the woods because this, this, Doom, this uh, Doom Wheel can't fight in the woods so good. And every shot, like he's knocked over Belagar, but every shot he takes by Belagar is another, really, he just needs probably two more shots, one more shot, and it's done. Belgar has very, very good leadership, so he's trying to get to the edge, and again, back out, and then back in. It's just a cycle charge game, and he's just going to stay in the woods so that he can defend against that cycle charge. F find a good spot over here where he can put Belgar into the woods, and you can see they're just trying to stare each other down, like he's got to stay in the woods to actually have, a, have an advantage, and the Doom Wheel sort of looking at him. I don't know if they're gonna fight anymore. Like, this is so close. Oh my god. Yes. There we go. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be it. This might be a final shot. He's going after Belagar and Belagar. Looks like he didn't fall. Did he hit this thing? 11.06. No. He didn't hit it. Come on, Belagar. Belagar has 875, 11.06. Come on, Belagar. Get a shot in. So he's trying to chase him down. He's trying to get a shot in. 822. 11.06. Trying for one last cycle charge. It's like right at the 20 minute mark. This is right at 20 minutes. There's five seconds less. This is the last charge of the game. And that is it. A draw. <laughs> oh my god. What a great game, and it, you know, the, it's funny as uh, I recently put a draw kite on my channel maybe like a, a few weeks ago, and those are really not exciting, but this, as far as draws go, yeah, it's not too bad. Bella, just 1v1 in the end, both cycle charging each other, no one could hit the other. For some reason, Belgar couldn't get a shot in on that, well, it's, the Doom Wheel kept knocking him over, but the Doom Wheel couldn't hit Belgar, he has 55 melee defense, so... Great fight. Awesome fight. And yeah, okay, it was a draw, but it was a good draw. I, I think uh, you'll agree. And to look at the, the end plates. Um, so, Belagar, 56 kills. 72, 25, and 56 for the Miners with Blasting Charges. Fantastic. They cleared out Chaff very, very nicely, and they did a real number on these Death Runners that got 8 kills. And I think I'm going to take that from Fur Furiosa's build and put some Miners with Blasting Charges in my own build. The Dwarf Warriors did all right. 82, 3, 55, 73, 24. I mean, that's what they're for. Really liked how these Slayers worked. 108, 46, 231, 70, and 145. Um, gyrocopters, solid. 13, 25, 16, 17. And you can see the Gyrocopters are really what finished off the Gracier. They also took out some Death Runners. They took out both Plague Claw Catapults and, uh, you know, did a little work elsewhere as well. Um... For uh, Kittenai's army, we have a Gracier, that Plague, you know, solid pick, obviously, in the matchup. Skaven Slaves, three of them, solid pick. Uh, one Clan Rat, really three Death Runners. The three Death Runners, 95, 78. The Death Runners can do some work on the Dowie. 119 with the Storm Vermin and Sword and Shield, very, very solid. These are Skaven Slave Slingers, 13, 14, 7, 0, 2, and 0. They are actually not too bad against the Slayers. Like, in that battle, like, the first time I watched it, really, there were some of these Skaven Slayers that got some health off the Slayers, because the Slayers don't have armor. Uh, with the Gutter Runner, 70, not too bad. Uh, the Rat Ogres only got 8. I do, don't know, like, the Rat Ogres I've seen in this matchup quite a bit. I don't know if they're the right unit for the matchup, but uh, I think, clearly, you can see these Storm Vermin Shields, 119. If you, if you replace this Rat Ogre, I know the Rat Ogres, I think, 800, Storm Vermin is 1,000, but what a difference. Uh, one for the Plague Glock Catapults, really, but that was an area of Yumei's focus. Uh, not any uh, knock on uh, Kitanai. And 146 with the Doom Wheel. Boy, oh boy, those Doom Wheels can go to work. Doom Wheels can go to work. And, uh, you know, I guess for the matchup, I mean, we're going to see a lot more of this matchup coming up tomorrow. And uh, I hope you guys all like that. So pay attention to uh, to uh, to uh, to the channel tomorrow tomorrow morning, kind of eleven o'clock, right around lunchtime. 
and we're gonna we're gonna be seeing some more of the Skaven dwarf matchup. Anyways, love to hear from you. Love to hear about the build. I mean, when I look at this build, I definitely love the miners with blasting charges in this matchup. I have some. I think I have some miners in mine, uh, but the miners with blasting charges really performed. Seventy-two. I know they killed slaves, and uh, but they did a good job against these death runners. They're just, you know, if you're gonna bring miners, the blasting charges can really do some work in this matchup. I think unless you see a pure Stormbrimmon build, which I doubt you'll see in the sort of the modern, the, the latest matchup with the Skaven. Uh, but they can do work against Death Runners, they can do great work against Slaves and, and uh, Clan Rats, you know, Skaven Slaves, Slingers, uh, you know, Gutter Runners. They can do a lot of work, and they did. 70, 25, 56 is very good for a unit with worth 400 gold. Very good for a unit worth 400 gold. So, anyways, we'd love to hear from you about the matchup down below and uh, what you think about it. Really, you've seen a couple games against uh, Kit and I in uh, on this cast. So, uh, and obviously, a you know he uh, he could have at any time just pulled his doom his doom wheel away, but he kept the cycle charge going for the fun. Really wanted to see who was gonna win, Belagar or uh, the doom wheel, which was fantastic. And uh, so, love the game. And I enjoyed every bit of it. This is the funnest draw I've ever seen. <laughs> well, I see some really, really close draws too, and, and maybe some tournament draws. But this was a really fun draw, and uh, that is going to be a very rare thing that you're going to see something like this. One more hit from either, and that could have been over. So, anyways, I'd love to hear from you down below in the comments. And with that said, I will see you soon.